Good everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new speed test. For today I have the Xiaomi Mi Note 2 and the Xiaomi Mi Mix. So starting on the left to the Xiaomi Mi Note 2, we have the Snapdragon 821 processor. We have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and running Android 6.0.1. On the right hand side, the Xiaomi Mi Mix has the Snapdragon 821 as well. We also have 6 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. This device is also running Android 6.0.1. Starting with the Antutu benchmark, the Note 2 scores 146,000 and the Mix scores about 138,000. So even though the Mix has 6 gigs of RAM, it scores slightly lower. And moving to the Geekbench 4, here the Mix gets a multi-core score of 42.18 and the Note 2 a lower score of 39.33. For the single core score, the Mix also scores a bit higher. And now for the speed test and the RAM management, I have the exact same apps installed on both devices. I'm gonna show you that I don't have any apps running in the background for either device. So on the Note 2 we have 1.7 gigs uh, available and on this one we have about 3. So uh, a bit more on this one. So let's start with Asphalt Extreme on both devices. And I believe that the Note 2 started slightly faster. But it looks like the mix uh, will actually start uh, sooner. So that one uh, definitely started sooner. And we're still waiting for the Note 2. And this one definitely took uh, a long time. So we'll leave uh, this game in the background. The next one is going to be FIFA 16. And that one seemed to start uh, in the exact same time on both devices. But uh, let's see which one actually starts sooner. And they're kind of in the same time. We'll leave that one running in the background as well. The next one is going to be Twitter on both. And I believe that this one uh, loaded a bit faster. The next one is going to be Instagram. And they're kind of in the same time um, here again. Let's go to my account here and uh, let's just open a picture here. We'll leave this one running in the background as well. The next one is going to be Facebook. And they seem to start the apps in the exact same time. So uh, we'll leave that one in the background. The next one is going to be YouTube. And I think this one uh, loaded slightly faster and I'm just gonna go here for example and we'll just start let's start a random video so let's start this one so we'll uh, leave that uh, running in the background the next one it's gonna be Chrome and I believe that this one was slightly faster and let's open uh, the same article on both devices and kind of in the same time so we'll leave this one running in the background as well the next one is gonna be google play music and again in the exact same time uh, on both devices the next one is gonna be the camera launch so we'll uh, lock the screens on both devices and i'm gonna double tap the volume on both so the note 2 was slightly faster let me do that one more time. So here it was the mix, but this one didn't actually start. And let's try that one last time. So again, the Note 2 was faster uh, for the camera launch. So leave those running in the background as well. And the next one is gonna be a GPS test. So let's see which one connects uh, faster and this one was uh, faster than the Note 2. So we'll leave this one running in the background as well. The next one is going to be the Google Play Store. And I think this one started the app faster but that one uh, loaded the app a bit faster. And uh, next we have Temple Run 2. So again the exact same time. And we'll see which one starts uh, the game sooner. So 
So they both kind of started in the exact same time. So all the apps were uh, kind of in the exact same time. And now we'll do a speed test. And both devices are connected to exact same uh, 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. And we're gonna do this one uh, first. And I'll fast forward. And now we'll try the mix and see what results we get here. So the mix is uh, slightly faster, but I'm just gonna fast forward. So yeah, definitely the mix was faster, but I'm not sure why, because I've seen the same result uh, on the Note 2 in the past. So now let's see what happened with all those apps running in the background. So let's go all the way to the end. So the game is still running in the background for both devices. So let's go back all the way to the end to FIFA 16. And yeah, it's still running uh, in the background for both devices. However, this one had to load or start a game or something, but um, it was still running in the background for uh, both. So uh, the next one, uh, it's gonna be Twitter. So we'll uh, check this one out as well. So they're both uh, running in the background. The next one, it's Instagram. And again, it's uh, running in the background for both devices. And the next one is going to be Facebook. And uh, they're still running in the background for uh, both devices again. We have YouTube next. So uh, still running in the background for uh, both. The next one is going to be Chrome, I believe. And it's running in the background for both. Now it's uh, Google Play Store, Google Play Music, uh, which is also running in the background. So it seems that all the apps um, are running in the background uh, on both devices. This is probably going to be the only one that uh, has to reload. So not reload, just uh, connect to the satellites once again. So the next one is going to be the Google Play Store. And the same uh, story with the both. And the last one that we have opened, uh, it's Temple Run 2. And this one actually had to reload uh, that game, so uh, not the mix. So uh, there you have it, uh, both phones seem to open the apps in the exact same time and uh, they both seem to keep the apps running in the background uh, for the same period of time. And uh, since I've used both devices and I have Nova Launcher installed on both devices and uh, they're both set the same way. So uh, I believe they're very, very equal even though this one has 4 gigs of RAM and this one has 6 gigs of RAM. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.